Hello, in this video we're going to look at maximizing consumer utility, trying to find the optimal consumption bundle using just algebra. There will be no calculus or derivatives. So problem one. A consumer's utility function is given by u equals x times y, where x is units of good x, y is units of good y, and the consumer has the following income and faces the following prices. These are per unit prices. The marginal utility of good x is given as follows. It's just equal y. And the marginal utility of good y equals x. These are derived from taking partial derivatives. But again, this is algebra-based, so we're not going to do that. It's just going to be given to us. At the utility maximizing consumption bundle, what is the consumer's level of utility? So the key here is that utility maximization requires this condition, that the marginal utility of good x divided by the price of good x equals the marginal utility of good y divided by the price of good y. So the marginal utility per dollar should be equal across both of these goods. So as we mentioned, the marginal utility of good x is y, and that's divided by the price of good x, which is 1. The marginal utility of good y, which was given, that equals x, and that's divided by the price of good y. So again, the marginal utility of good x divided by the price of good x equals the marginal utility of y divided by the price of good y. So what we want to do once we get this set up it is either solve for y or x. It doesn't matter, whichever simplifies the easiest for you. In this case, I'm going to solve it for x, so I don't have to deal with a fraction result. So multiplying everything through by 4, x equals 4y. So again, I just solved this equation for x, and we see that x equals 4y. We're going to plug this into the budget constraint. And in general, the budget constraint is the income equals the price of good x times units of good x plus the price of good y times units of good y. The price of good x is 1, so I just have 1x or x. And the price of good y is 4, so we have 4 times y. So we're get, we have these two equations and two unknowns. So where I have an x down here, I'm now going to plug in 4y. So making that substitution, adding up the terms on the right-hand side, and dividing through by 8. y equals 20. So this consumer should buy 20 units of good y. To figure out how many units this consumer should buy of x, take this 20 and just plug it back into this equation over here. So x equals 4y, and if y is 20, this consumer will buy 80 units of good x. So x equals 80 and y equals 20 is a utility maximizing consumption bundle. If we want to figure out the level of utility at this consumption bundle, just plug these values back into the utility function, which was given on the first slide as u equals x times y. And we see this consumer has 1,600 units of utility. Let's go to problem two. A slightly different utility function and slightly different income and prices here. So kind of the same setup. We're going to get the marginal utility of good x. This is going to be given to you as follows. And the marginal utility of good y will be given as follows. Utility maximization, once again, requires this condition here. So now it's just a matter of substituting everything into this formula. The 2xy cubed divided by the price of good x, which we said is 2. And then we take the marginal utility of good y and divide that by the price of good y, which is also $2. And we're just going to simplify this down. We're going to solve it for either x or y. So the first thing, we can multiply both sides through by 2 to get rid of the denominator. We have this result. Uh, next thing I do is I divide everything through by y squared. So the y squared and the y squared will cancel on the right-hand side of the equation. And then y cubed divided by y squared will just leave y in the numerator. And the next thing I will do here is I'll divide everything through by x. So x divided by x just leaves us 1. 
and x squared divided by x will just leave us x in the numerator. So we get 2y equals 3x. And just simplifying this further, dividing everything through by 2, 3 divided by 2 is 1.5, so y equals 1.5x. And like our first problem, we're going to plug this into the consumer's budget constraint. And we're going to use this information up here to construct the budget constraint. So with $200 of income, the price of good X is $2. So we got 2 times X. The price of good Y is $2, so 2 times Y. And as we saw, Y equals 1.5X. So where we have a Y, we're going to plug in 1.5X. So making that substitution, here's the Y, now it's 1.5X. So 2X plus 3X is 5X, dividing through by 5. The consumer will buy 40 units of good X. Plugging that 40 back into this equation up here, the consumer will buy 60 units of Y. To get the level of utility at those values, just plug 40 and 60 back into the utility function and simplify. All right, let's move on to our third problem. Okay, slightly different utility function, okay, different exponents here, uh, consumer's income, and you can see the price of good X and price of good Y. In this problem, instead of given the marginal utilities, you can be given a problem where you get the marginal rate of substitution of good X for good Y. So in this case, the marginal rate of substitution is Y divided by X. So this would be given to you uh, unless you have a calculus-based course. And basically, this marginal rate of substitution is nothing more than the marginal utility of good X divided by the marginal utility of good Y. But anyways, when presented with a problem in this format, utility maximization requires the following, that the marginal rate of substitution equals the price of good X divided by the price of good Y. So the price of good X is $6. Price of good Y is $3. As before, we're going to just solve this for x or y, which is ever easier for you. So doing that over here, 6 divided by 3 is 2. And then multiplying through by x, y equals 2x. Let's plug this into the consumer's budget constraint. Income of $24, price of good x is 6, price of good y is 3. So where we have a y, we're going to plug in 2x. And we get the following. X equals 2. 24 divided by 12. And plugging this 2 back into our equation up here, Y equals 4. And so evaluating our utility function at X equals 2 and Y equals 4. Doing that over here. Here's our utility function for this problem. Plugging in those values. Square root of 4 is 2 adding up the exponents, and simplifying, we get a utility of 2.83. All right, problem four. The consumer has the following marsh utilities for good X and good Y. Marsh utility of X is 2 divided by X. Marsh utility of Y is 6 divided by Y. Note that you're not given the utility function here. You're just given the marginal utilities, uh, but we have the consumer's income and the price of each good. So once again, since we're not dealing with a marginal rate of substitution, we'll rely upon this utility maximizing condition. And we're going to plug in for the marginal utility of good X is 2 divided by X and divide it by the price of good X, which is 8. And doing a similar thing for the right-hand side. So making those substitutions, remember the price of good Y is 2, marginal utility of good Y is 6 divided by Y, and now we want to simplify this. So what I'm going to do here, uh, I want to get rid of this 8 in the denominator, so I'm going to multiply it by 1 divided by 8, and if I do that to the denominator, I have to do it to the numerator. So as you'll see here, 8 multiplied by 1 divided by 8 is just 1. And I do a similar thing on the right-hand side. I want to get rid of this 2 in the denominator, so I multiply it by its reciprocal. And what I do in the denominator, I have to do in the numerator. 
So that will simplify to the following. Okay, the, the 2 divided by 8 is where this 1 fourth is coming from, and the 6 divided by 2 is where that 3 is coming from. Multiplying everything through by 4x, and multiplying everything through by y, you'll get this result. Let's plug that into the consumer's budget constraint. And simplify. So 24x plus 8x is 32x, dividing by 32, x equals 2, and y equals 24. Just taking this x equals 2 and plugging it into 12 times x. All right, problem 5. Consumer has the following marsh utilities for good x and good y. Consumer's income. Setting up the utility maximizing condition and now substituting. So here's a marsh utility of good x, dividing it by the price of good x, which is one. I'm not just I'm not don't need to show that. The marsh utility of good y is one, dividing it by one just leaves us with one. Following the rules of exponents, we're going to move this x to the minus one half down into the denominator, multiplying everything through by x to the one half power. And you get this result. And now squaring both sides to get rid of this exponent. x equals 16. Plug that into the constraint. Here's a constraint. Price of good x is 1. Price of good y is 1. So it's just x plus y. You get this result. Solving for y. y equals 16. So x equals 16. y equals 16. And finally, our last problem, problem six, is just sort of a the, this same type of setup as problem five, but the consumer has more utility or more income. Sorry, uh, income of sixty-four dollars. So everything's the same here. Of course, the budget constraint is different uh, because we have more income. Making our substitution here, y equals forty-eight x equals 16. So it's kind of interesting here the consumer's income went up and the consumer bought the same amount of good x as uh, in problem 5. So the income elasticity of demand for good x here is zero. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.